Hey everyone, enjoy the show. How you doing today? So about six months ago, a local picker here in the greater Los Angeles area gave me a call and said he had this 1950s kitty ride, which would have been in a carnival and it would have been on a circular track and there would have probably been like eight of these cars on the track and it pulled them around. See his little kids, thank you for the car. And so I said, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. I'd like to buy that. So we purchased it and uh, we decided to do something really special with it. So what we did is we turned it into this. This was uh, really quite a project and it was a lot of fun for us. So first we painted it and we got it all done and we thought, wow, this would so make a beautiful kitty ride. So now we went to work on building the ride part of it. We did it in the traditional 50s styles with the rounded corners. This would have been a 50s style uh, box on the bottom which houses everything. We went to the 10 cent mechanism which would be a natural mechanism for a 50s kitty ride. We rounded the corners, we extended it and widened it to fit this. It's a little offset as they are supposed to be so that the children can step up here and get in. It's uh, equal down on that side, but it's set back as it's supposed to be. We bought it and it was already had been sandblasted, so we took it into our paint shop and we put this beautiful wine, cherry red, candy apple paint on it. It's with called wine berry. Wine berry, that's it. And then we accidented it with the beautiful silver. Once that was done, we clear coated the whole thing, color sand buffed. We did the coin box and pole in the same color and the bottom in black. On the side here, we cast up Kitty Ride 10 cents. It's on both sides, so it's cast aluminum as well as plated. It's got chrome wheels on it, and you will see that in the video, as well as we chrome the steering wheel. This is like one super slick ride. We were at the car show, uh, the Grand National Hot Rod Show, and there was one of them builders there that had a million dollar car. And this reminds me of it because of its lines, and it was so slick and beautiful. We had our artists come in and we had them paint out the headlights, so it has headlights in it. Uh, so when we're going through this, we, gotta, we like to put music in them, so we're trying to pick the music. So we go through the entire library of the music that is available for kiddie rides. So this is what we came up with. We all came from the 1950s. Uh, we watched cartoons as children. It was a fabulous time in our lives. Uh, so this is what we picked. This was the best. Attention parents, please do not leave your child unattended while riding the ride. Enjoy the ride, kids. We put the Flintstones in it. We all love the Flintstones. We thought it was kind of appropriate. It was the best music we could find. Uh, it's super, super cool. The other nice thing is, is that we put a volume control in it, which we, you should, right? Uh, and it is in the coin box here. So you can turn it completely off or to any volume you want, okay? This being the highest, which is a nice volume. trouble with that. So once again uh, everything is done nice. It's got the beautiful matting down on the bottom, the correct rubber matting. It's got the polished aluminum trim. Uh, come on up here Jeff and let's show them inside for a second. Now you might think this is going fast but it's not because kitty rides were supposed to give them a ride, right? This is the appropriate speed for the, for the, for the ride. Now one of the great debates was this little tailpipe right here. Two out of three of us wanted it one didn't, but the two prevailed and we put a cute little tailpipe on it. We thought that was very appropriate. As well as you'll be able to see as we painted out the, the tail lights here in red, everything is upholstered correctly. Candy apple, buff, polished, wax. This is a stunningly beautiful kitty ride. This is solid aluminum. This probably weighs 120, 130 pounds. Very thick aluminum casting is what this was made of, right? Uh, I couldn't put any more money into it. I, you know, it was uh, no expense spared on this piece and it, you can tell by looking at it. Runs good, looks good, is good. All the running gear in it is brand new. The thing is stunningly beautiful and whoever gets this is absolutely, unequivocally gonna have a one of a kind because there's none of these in the world. This is the only one, it runs good, it's just a super nice machine. So whoever gets this is really gonna enjoy it. Got the Flintstones in it, super cool. Go into car collection, whatever you wanna do, put it in the corner, put it, uh, put it in the game room. 
Anyway, as always, thank you for watching our videos, and someone is going to be a very lucky person when they get this. Thank you. These are antiques. These are mantiques. Antique, mantique. These guys sell mantiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.